As Helen Reddy once sang in her what anthem, I am woman, hear me roar. Yes. That's right. This next story is about a group of women known as WIN. Yes, it stands for Women in Nuclear, and they're right here in Connecticut at Millstone. Yeah, these women hold so many careers at the power plant, and they shared their experiences with Scott on a recent visit there. Yeah. Biologists Shannon Nardi and Amy Gonzalez are excited to show me today's catch. So we have a nice male for you here, if you'd like to hold him. It's really good. He's a little calmer. Hi. Exactly right. <laughs> it's important to greet them. It's How are you? It's important to greet them. We greet everyone we get. Nice to see you. Rock lobster. Ooh ah. Uh. While you might think I was at an aquarium or at the beach, I'm actually on the campus of Millstone, the nuclear power plant in Waterford. And these women are biologists in the environmental lab. Meet biologist Susan Gonzalez. I don't think a lot of people know that Millstone has an environmental lab. And I think it's good information to put out there that we are monitoring a lot of these species. And um, also, it's just a good idea you know, just to give people an idea of what kind of jobs are out there. If you're a biologist looking for a job, you know, maybe not in academia or in a lab, you could look at places in the industry and you might be surprised at um, what kind of jobs might be out there for you. Susan Shannon and Amy love working here at Millstone and are proud members of WIN. WIN stands for Women in Nuclear. Jennifer Rowland is a nuclear licensing coordinator for Millstone and tells us more. Tell me a little bit about WIN. Win. WIN, okay, so this is our Women in Nuclear chapter here at Millstone, uh, who you'll be meeting today. Uh, WIN is a global organization, as a matter of fact, they're in over 100 countries. Here in the United States, we have 73 WIN chapters. Uh, that's made up of mostly nuclear power plants throughout the United States. Also, we have chapters in colleges at Purdue, Berkeley, NC State, and Penn State. Wow. Our vision is about promoting the use of our nuclear energy plants throughout the United States and enhancing our understanding and our education in all the different technology fields that exist. Uh, three of our metrics that we focus on here are professional development, networking opportunities, and public outreach. And that's exactly what today's event is. This is about helping our public um, enhance their understanding of nuclear energy, just how safe it really is, and all the amazing careers that you can have in, at, at Millstone. While women make up about 15% of the workforce here at Millstone, that number is growing. Zan Hoagland is an engineer with the company. Why, why do they call it nuclear energy? Well, nuclear energy is, in the core, is you have fission and you, you have a, a pellet, a fuel pellet, and you actually hit it with a neutron and uh, it will release heat. And that heat is what we use to heat everything up with. Zan worked for the company, left to raise her family, and is now back. I was here for 10 years, went home, stayed home with my kids for 19, and then I've been back for four. Wow, good for yeah, you. Yeah, so awesome. I was very lucky. Emily Fleming is an engineer tech, and Sudajan Garapolo is a tech specialist. They love their jobs and being a part of WIN. So its whole purpose is to have women come together in the nuclear industry and kind of all talk about what they do and what they like about nuclear and it's all also really about community outreach so showing young people you know what options they have what opportunities are out there and how diverse the industry is and does everybody have to know about nuclear energy yes so when you get hired in you have to go through uh, in processing and part of that you have to go through all of these powerpoints and you learn about basics of nuclear power so that everyone on site at least knows the basics of nuclear power and the basics of radiation and uh, safety. So all of this is our electrical plant. So Allison Davenport is a senior reactor operator in training. I started as a non-licensed operator in 2008. I became fully qualified uh, doing field work uh, by about 2010. I got my reactor operator's license in 2013. That took me about two years from beginning to end. Uh, I worked in the control room for five years as a licensed reactor operator, and now I'm back in licensed school again for another year and a half program to get uh, my senior reactor operator's license. So I'll be supervising the actions in the control room. So impressive. And so is Nicole Winters, who also works here at Millstone. Nicole's a security officer. I'm on the Dominion Composite Adversary Team. I'm just a security officer here. Yeah. We test the site to make sure that the security force can protect the plant against a threat. I'm the first and the only female in the fleet to be on the team. 
And when I started five years ago, I believe there was only two other females in Florida, so there's only three in the country as far as I know. This is the best job I've ever had. Really? Yeah. Uh, I love the people I work with. I love the challenges that I get on a, on a daily basis. You can pick a path, come here, and learn how to do this. You just have to know, you just have to care about doing things well, learn about how to work with each other, um, and care about doing things right. And if you'd like to learn more about careers at Millstone, all you have to do is go to this website right here, careers.dominionenergy.com.